Hey friends, and welcome back to Vlogmas. Uh, in this episode, it's a pretty quick turnaround, so we are going to start on our coin purse, give ourselves a little palette cleanser, and hopefully a little easier win uh, before we go into the roughest pattern of the year. And I know I'm building that up in my own head, trust me. Uh, I will try not to feel intimidated when we get to it. But we're gonna be taking a tour of Rogers Gardens here in Long Beach with my sister. So that's in this episode. We'll probably do some more holiday lights and make the coin purse. We've also got the ornaments. We're finally getting to the ornaments. I have all next year to make them. So we'll be doing a little bit of everything in this episode. Probably won't finish the coin purse, but we can at least get it started. So let's take a look at that. So we are gonna be making the Yarrow coin purse from Noodlehead. It's got this cool shape, this little curve. The zipper goes all the way around the curve. Um, she's got a step-by-step -step tutorial as usual. So looks pretty easy. I'm gonna be doing the smaller one. This is more of like a wristlet. So I'm gonna be doing the smaller one. And we've got our leftover fabric from my sister's bag. So the cows, and then we'll line it with this. So I'm hoping I have enough fabric left. I'm hoping I have enough fabric left to make it because it's super cute. And if that works, that'll be the coin purse pattern we will use next year because I really wasn't happy with the other coin purses. My last inter iteration of the coin purse was okay, but it just didn't feel unique. And if I'm gonna make a coin purse, I want it to be something special. So. Hopefully that pattern will work out for us and we can set aside some of the fabric that we have to organize over the break. We can set aside for that. So I want to try that pattern now so that I know what, what I'm using my scraps for next year so we can get all that organized. So if that sounds fun to you, please go ahead and make yourself a cup of tea or coffee and sit down, get comfortable, and let's have some fun together.
Okay, so we're getting started on the pouch, but first I wanted to show you all of the ornaments. These come together super fast. They're super fun to make, and I have like five colors, so I'm just trying like all the different color combinations that I could be doing, which is fun. These two are obviously more Christmassy than the rest, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it to the point where I think I'm gonna have to go back to Michael's and get another box of the, um, the baubles, which is very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna need two of these, two of these. It's a pretty easy pouch. I'm gonna skip the pocket because it's basically a coin purse. So I'm just doing two, two, and then I need a little um, D-ring strap. So we'll do that, and I'm trying to decide if I want just the D-ring on here or if I want to do a swivel clasp. I'll probably just do the D-ring. And then have to pick out a zipper for this. Um, yeah, I might do the black zipper since we're going to have the cows on the outside. We'll see what happens. <laughs> A trickster. She, uh, her friend calls this the devil's wonton. <laughs> the way that you have to pin this together. So putting in the zipper is kind of screwy. Um, and then piecing this all together is kind of screwy. And even though I did the zipper measurement exactly as she told me to, it's still a little bit too long to where my end tab down here at the end I'm supposed to have a half an inch here, and I don't. So I'm gonna kind of fudge the seam allowance. I'm gonna start at the very corner here, and then go to half an inch. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, so as visually interesting as this bag is, it might be a little too difficult to do as the fast project, you know what I mean? And I hate veering zippers. I'll show you this when it's done, but the zipper tab, just the way you have to fold over the zippers, I never get it right. And so the folded zipper always shows on the final project and it drives me crazy. <laughs> off kilter. I think this is supposed to lay more flat and if this had lined up in the correct spot I cut it exactly how she told me to cut it but it was still like too long. I think what I would need to do is match this up, pin the whole zipper, then cut the zipper because yeah that was a problem. And then see on this zipper tab I, I pinched it the correct way on this side of the zipper, when I veered it, I pinched it the wrong way. And I always, I, I, for some reason, I can't figure it out when I'm doing it, which is the right way. So it's a little more involved than I would like a coin purse to be. Um, it's just kind of tricky. I'm sure if I did five of these in a row, it would get better each time. I just don't know that... I don't know. I don't like the shape. Obviously, this should be straighter. If this was straighter, straighter across, it would look a lot better. It's also kind of small. I mean, I know it's a coin purse and all, but I don't know that it needs this fancy of a zipper. So, we might go back 
and find a different coin purse recipe pattern. I don't know. How long did this take me? Three. So this took me an hour and a half to make total. So that seems like a lot. The other coin purses I could do a lot easier than that. And I wouldn't necessarily have to use the big zippers, although it is kind of cute to have a cute zipper pull for these. Um, yeah, so back to the drawing board on the zippers. There's also a wristlet version in this pattern, which I think would be a lot less fiddly because it's bigger, but really I was looking for the coin purse. So I'm going to give this one a C as well and file it away with our pattern pieces. But my sister can have a matching little coin purse or notions bag to go with her Christmas present.
Push it again. Do it again. That wasn't that wasn't hard enough. Ooh. Here we have our spooky spice in the cute mug. Mm, that's nice. Has a little anise taste to it, which I don't love, but it's pretty, pretty mild in there. The rest is very good. Okay. We are coming close to the end. I've only got a few things left in here. So, number 20. Number 20. Let's see if we can continue on with the actual autumn color streak. Oh, <laughs> well, that's kind of autumn-y once the leaves turn completely. Um, so I was thinking about the blanket and not quite sure how I'm gonna match that up. I'd like to just not have to weave in any ends. I would like to just carry the yarn up and up. So if I do one color, one neutral, one color, one neutral, because you want to be able to get that, that look of the lark's foot coming down um, and being the distinctive rose, but I don't know whether to do like, I don't know whether to stick with the same color. So whether to do like this, neutral, this, neutral, which really wouldn't work. I'd have to do a three color series, right? To get the color back to the starting point again. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> How that would work. Because if I stopped it there, yeah, well, I'd still be doing ends. But I don't know whether to do like this neutral blue, this neutral blue, like keep going until this is done, or whether to completely stripe all the colors. I, I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> okay, so we have our coin purse, which is definitely wonky. It should be straight across. Um, I cut it exactly where she told me to, and it's still too long. So if I had done that correctly, it would look better, but it's still like learning curve, pun intended. It's still way more complicated than a coin purse needs to be. And I would like to stick with the $8 price that I do for the piggies. And believe it or not, as complicated a shape as the piggy is, it's still easier to do than this. So, uh, yeah, that I, we won't be doing that. I'm going to go back to the drawing board on the coin purse. I did save the post-it with all my measurements from the, was it the fourth iteration that I liked? So we can, we can go back to that. And then just the veering of the zippers. I hate veering zippers because this is what happens to me most of the time is I veer them in the wrong direction and then that's totally sticking out in the worst possible place. So now that that's done, um, we did make some Christmas baubles. So these are very cute. The, um, the actual bobble shapes that I bought at Michael's are a little smaller than your normal baubles which is fine because most of these are going to be for the children's hospital tree anyway. So the kids are going to be getting these. So smaller the better. It just means we can't do the full pattern, but I still think they look super cute. And just picking different color combinations, trying, trying different things. So that was fun. That's a keeper. I might have to go buy another box of the bobbles because I plan on making a lot of those. So I, I might make these, um, I just bought some ties to go with these because they don't come with any ribbon. So I just bought a bunch of those. So I might use these as little present, you know, wrapping things for my family and then make a buttload more <laughs> for the hospital for next year. So that's good. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the tour of the garden. That was really fun and um, getting pretty rainy now. So we shall see how that works out for me this week. Um, I don't know that we're gonna be able to go do the holiday lights. We might have to wait until after Christmas. I, they start taking them down after Christmas, but um, yeah, I don't know. So we have one more bag to do. I'm gonna start that pattern you're going to see that in the Saturday video is me starting that final bag. Um, I might just make it a short video because that's going to be the last video. Um, I'll pop in to give you a Christmas message on Christmas, but that's like the last real video of Vlogmas. So I don't know whether to just truncate the entire process or whether to do another video after that, like, the Thursday after Christmas. We'll see. If you see the finished bag in the Saturday video, then that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, and then I'm going to do a year-end recap video on the 30th for you. We're just going to kind of go over the whole year of bags and how it went. And I would just like to thank you for spending time with me. I know there's a lot of vlogmases out there and it's kind of overwhelming in December. So thank you for coming and spending time with me and being here. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Love you folks. Bye.